moderator of the debates. Who? What, didn't we? Uh, I think we did. Yeah. Uh, when, well, so. when when he was going when the yeah. president was going to be on I'd the be show. I'd be happy to be at it. That shocks me. I, I think David. I think I think it's damn right. You get a very fair. Yep. I do too. I'm the fairest person. I think. I'll let you know. All right. Right on. Great. I will tell you. I'll be the first to tell you. Did they pick the journalists today for St. Louis? Mm -hmm. Did they pick the reporters? Not that, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. And I still think, you know, there's a lot of merit to that. Who's on on Sunday night, we know, yeah? No, the moderator? I don't think we know yet. No, it hasn't been chosen. But you have input, they have input, Pro has input. That's correct. Well, right up my alley. That stuff right up my alley. No one would get it in the edge. What's that? Be fair. You'll sit best in the debates. Because you don't come with any. Package. You could elevate it. Every time they talk about something silly, you just say, come on. What are we wasting time? To me, yeah. you sit very effective. You could affect, have a great effect on yourself. Just let's go get it on. Get it on, so to speak. King was never chosen as a moderator of the debates. Good evening and welcome to the second of three presidential debates between the major candidates for President of the United States. So, President Bush, I think you said it earlier, let's get it on. Good morning. The latest presidential polls show President Bush is closing in on Bill Clinton in the final week before the election. One poll shows the two candidates are almost even. A CNN USA Today poll shows Clinton and Bush virtually deadlocked. Four days before the election, George Bush made his final appearance as president on Larry King's show. What a night, what a finish. What a year for me. Huh? A year for me has been unbelievable. Changed the world. It's um, different. It's CNN poll today. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Strangest year in the history of man. <laughs> I hear you, Tom. Tell me about it. What? Tell me about it. <laughs> Hold on. God, I got a darn cold. You got a cold? Fever. Some of my brothers in the drug business. All the points. Slight cold. Thanks, Patrick. Right ahead, a historic evening. 90-minute special, Larry King Live, with the President of the United States and your phone calls. It's next from Racine, Wisconsin. Don't go away. My brother's in the pharmaceutical business. He said that there's a new pill coming from Israel, better than housing. You mean for sleeping or deep digestion? Great. I so to speak. It's now uh, shortly after 9 o'clock, and the East Poles are still open in the West, of course, in the Mountain Time Zone as well. Here's a winner in the Rocky Mountain states, Colorado, eight electoral votes. Perot was a big factor.
Three years after Bush's defeat, the Christian coalition tripled its active membership to one and a half million members. Clinton's taken New Mexico, according to them. Its annual budget has more than doubled, and the coalition holds virtual veto power over the Republican nominee for president in 1996. Rhode Island. Delaware. Mr. Roberts, would you like to or reorganize the Republican Party around the Christian tenets that you hold so dear? I would like to see a winning coalition like Ronald Reagan had. I think we've got to get economic conservatives together with social conservatives and some who are foreign policy advocates of the foreign policy initiatives that we've seen very successfully over the last 10 or 12 years and to put together that coalition. And I, I think that uh, the last thing we need is recrimination and finger pointing and that sort of thing. It's good. The Republican Party will probably have a splendid opportunity uh, if we have some economic collapse in the next two or three years to come back strong in 96. Pat Robertson, thank you very much. Thanks. Frank Gumbel? Tom, that's the closest we've seen to the start of uh, what might be a, a round of finger pointing. Uh, how much of it do you think we are going to see? Well, I think that the Pat Robertson movement, and he's not the only one who's involved in it, is very important and to some Republicans a little terrifying right now because they're very well organized. He says we're very important and very well organized in county by county. Yes, the new religious run. They'll, they'll organize out of sight of the conventional machinery and then go out and win. It was reported after the election that the Clinton White House uses the Department of Defense to intercept satellite TV feeds on a regular basis. This monitoring practice started during the 1992 election, as Al Gore's wife, Tipper, found out during the campaign. Everyone's watching you on Little Rock. They're watching these satellite feeds? Oh, yeah, we can, you know, the, we, pick, we pull it whenever any of you all do a satellite tour, they pull it down on Little Rock on all the monitors and the whole headquarters. Just the actual interviews, not this right. part. The Clinton campaign also intercepted the satellite feeds of the TV network news. Clinton strategists would watch the network satellite feed of a network news story about Clinton. This would give the strategists the ability to respond to the story before it ever aired on regular network television. Clearly this goal is almost within reach. Clinton's trying to lift his sights beyond the attack colleges. Four years. Feeling that his goal is almost within reach, Clinton is now trying to lift his sights beyond the attack politics of the campaign. Clinton also monitored the satellite feeds of his opponents. According to the American Journalism Review, the Clinton campaign intercepted the satellite feed of a Bush commercial 36 hours before the commercial aired on network television. But here's what Clinton economics could mean to you. $1,088 more in taxes. $2,072 more in taxes. By intercepting the feed, Clinton strategists had the ability to respond to Bush's ad before the ad had ever aired. Four years ago, he asked you to believe him. Read my lips. Now he's asking you to believe his attacks against Bill Clinton. This is a satellite feed of a Clinton rally. The person you just heard speaking was probably one of Clinton's security team standing near an open microphone on the stage. The instructions he was giving may have come from Clinton's staff in Little Rock, which regularly monitored the feeds of Clinton's rallies. Yeah. 
Little Rock would watch the satellite feed of the Clinton camera slowly panning the audience like a surveillance camera. If they saw a protester at the public event, Little Rock could call the rally site to alert security. But whenever we did yeah, have the live satellite feed of like a big rally or something, it was a really very interesting instance. The Buffalo rally, there were some protesters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Little Rock so saw where the advance people couldn't because they, they were backstage. So the desk, the white desk class, called the advance people on the phone and said, no, walk 10 feet to the left. There's a sign in the camera shot there. Edge that guy over. I mean, so it's like Little Rock directed Buffalo and watched it dismantle on television. Fabulous. They watch the dismantling of a problem. Right. And they, you know, where the advanced person is in a sea of 2,000 oh, right, people, right, right. Little Rock was able to say, Move to, I can see you on TV. Now go two people over to your left. It was really very fascinating. Hmm. High tech. Yeah, that's good. Um, so that's why when they said there were shadows in your face, that was Little Rock going saying there shadows on your face. Oh. Yeah. See, everybody watches it. Thank <laughs> you.